today I want us to learn something on division and for division students normally find it difficult for division students normally find it difficult and this is for my primary students even our junior high school students and senior high school students some find problem with division so you are all part of this session so for division we have something we call dividend and when we talk of dividend this is the number that is being divided dividend the number that is being divided and divisor divisor is the number that divides the dividend divisor is the number that divides the dividend and quotient is always our final answer quotient is always our final answer so we have dividend divided by divisor is equal to quotient so as i said i'm defining the terms the number that is being divided and divisor the number that divides the dividend and quotient This is our final answer we get when we when the dividend the dividend is divided by the divisor. So this one is our division sign. This symbol is our division sign. Let me write it body. So this is our division sign. So take note. So let's take two people for instance. Two people. If these two people are given eight oranges to share how many oranges will each get so these are the two people maybe Ama and Kofi they are given eight oranges to share these are the oranges four five six seven eight they have been given these oranges to share so we want to know how many oranges will each person get so now, let me name here Kofi, Ama. So Kofi takes one of the oranges. Kofi has taken one of these oranges. Ama who picks this one. Kofi takes another one again. Ama takes this one. It has reached Kofi's turn. Ama who has picked this one. Now it's left with two. Kofi stand again. Ama picks the last orange. So this means they both get four oranges. It's not difficult. Let me take Akwesi. Akwesi and John. Akwesi and John. So this is Akwesi. And this is also John. Akwesi, John. We are given four books. So this is the books. Four books to share. Four books. So Akwesi will pick one book. John 2 will pick another book. It's left with two books. Akwesi picks another book. John to pick the last book. So this means 
Akwesi gets two of the books and John two get two of the books. So it's not difficult. So now I can give you something like this. You see, let's take these as human beings. They have shared mangoes and each person had three mangoes each. So I will ask you to identify dividend, divisor and quotient. I'm coming to show you how you can write your dividend, divisor and quotient. As I said already, dividend is the number that is being divided. So when we talk of dividend, you will count the total number of oranges here. So what is the total number of oranges? So one, two, three, four, five, six. You write it down as the dividend. Divisor. Divisor talks of the number of people who are sharing these oranges. So what is the total number? Two. Two people are sharing these oranges. So that is the divisor. Two. What is the quotient? Quotient is the dividend divided by the divisor. That's our final answer. And we have realized each person has how many oranges? Three. So one, two, three. This is the quotient. Now let's take another example. So these are three human beings. Three human beings. So they are seven pencils. And pencils, each person has four. So you have been asked to identify the dividend, divisor, and quotient. So the dividend is the total number of pences. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and that's the dividend. Divisor. Divisor is the number of people who are sharing these pences. They are how many? One, two, three. So three. What is the quotient? The quotient is the number of pencils each person has. So you count. One, two, three, four. So we have four. So this is the quotient. So this is how we identify the dividend, the divisor and quotient. Let's take these questions. Write down the dividend, divisor, and quotient for the following diagrams. Now, you see we have two human beings sharing six mangoes. Let me take this as mangoes. So, what is the total number of mangoes each person is getting? It's what? Three, three. That one becomes the quotient. And the number of people sharing the mangoes is what? The divisor. The total number of mangoes becomes the dividend. So now let's count. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's our dividend. Divisor is how many human beings? That's the total number of human beings sharing these mangoes. We have 1, 2, so 2. Quotient. Each human being has how many mangoes? So you start asking yourself these questions. We have 1, 2. So it's three. That's question one. So question two. These are books. How many books are here? We have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the dividend. The divisor is the number that divides the dividend. So how many human beings? One, two. Because two human beings are sharing eight books. How many books did each human being get? We have one, two, three, four. Because here is four, and this portion two is four. Now I have identified the dividend divisor as quotient. Once you are able to appreciate this one, when I start my simple division method and long division, it becomes simple. Take this from cash flow. Because for every division, you should know your division divisor and quotient. Now, how many human beings here? Three. Let's start from the dividend. The dividend, let's take this as groups. So we have one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This means they share 12 rooms. So how many human beings here we are having three? And these three human beings, how many rooms did each get? We are having four, four, one, two, three, four. These two have four, these two have four. So the first human being has four rooms. The second human being has four groups and the third one has four groups, so it's four. So you see now, I have made identifying dividend divisor and quotient simple. Now let's take these assignments so that we try our hands on it at our leisure time. So assignments. Write down, write down the dividend divisor and quotient. So one, we have this dividend. Two. So two, we have So dividend divisor quotient three three Dividend divisor quotients. So I believe students, you have really learned division, and this topic ah made it simple. Because once you know how to identify your dividend, divisor, and quotient, it's very simple if I dive into simple division and long division method. Thank you and enjoy your day.